you want to do is discover what is musical about the story and take off from there and create something completely different. I think this is as different from the movie as West Side Story is from Romeo and Juliet. It is a, an extraordinary story, and, and uh, the, the world that is depicted in this, in this show it is particularly gritty, which is, um, which is so much fun. Uh, that's, where, that's where it gets interesting. And uh, uh, to, to kind of explore New York 1950s cafe society is, is, uh, is uh, otherworldly. It's just such a joy to have this level of language on, uh, you know, on stage. It was a challenge. Uh, both Guerra and I had to rise to the occasion of following uh, uh, the, 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 the lead of, of those great writers, Ernest Lehman and Clifford Odets, who wrote the screenplay. Dean Martin, confessing at the Stork Club that he sees a psychiatrist once a week to help him stop drinking. It's working. Every Tuesday from 3 to 4, he stops drinking. This is our casting session. Who should play J.J.? God, I can't think. Who could play? God, he's going to act. He's going to sing. I can't think of anybody who can do it. What about Lithgow? Oh, that's a good idea. Does anybody know him? Yeah, I know him. Let's call him up. Hi, John. Want to do a musical? Yeah, I would like to do one. Send it out. Okay. Two days later, he called back. He said, I'll do it. That was our entire casting hunt and search for, uh, for our Scarlett O'Hara. It's a piece of theater. He's got to be captivating and charismatic and funny and surprising. Uh, J.J. is very much one thing and one thing only in the movie. And he's very scary for that reason. But I don't think that would really hold on stage. You've got to give the audience surprises. It's been an amazing trip for me. I mean, from, from the workshop 18 months ago to to opening night. I mean, I didn't think we would get there, but we did, and uh, I'm just thrilled to be a part of this. No more slamming those brakes, no more pulling back, do whatever it takes, Susan. The style of the movie it figures into the how the style is played in our show, the world of New York in the 1950s and this life. Uh, lifestyle of, of the cafe society is, is in the darkness and, the, and the, the, the glitz and the glamour of that world is was a great starting point. Well, I was alive in the 50s, so I know what that was like. I remember the 50s. To me, it's all about think black and white. You know, don't think color. Think black and white. We've been doing this for you know two years, working on the show for two years. So to finally open on Broadway, it's just it's so thrilling. I feel wonderful. I, I'm very thankful and and just. I'm on top of the world right now. <laughs> so let my life story.